6 30 p.m i'd like to call this regular meeting of the old saber police commission to order i'm probably please join me in the pledge of allegiance i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all thank you 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 uh, we have no members of the public yeah. here in our no, 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 no. We have one of the best ones. Richard Medzak made it to the cafeteria. It is uh, is there a sign open, open for I'm sorry? Is there a sign advising someone where the meeting is? I don't know. I don't it's know posted either. on the agenda. So yeah. That, that's and everybody knows that the, the early voting, voting yeah. Bill's okay. Well, it is time for public comment. Is there anyone in the live audience wishing to make a comment? Okay. Uh, is there anyone in the uh, virtual audience who would like to make a comment? If so, please raise your hand. Are there any hands raised, Larry? No, there are not. Okay. Uh, next item, discussion and possible action on the meeting minutes for our September 23 meeting. I invite a motion to approve those minutes as submitted. Uh, move to approve. Second. Second. Any discussion, comments, corrections? Can, can we just put on members present and members not present? <laughs> I, I just say because it, it's you know, an excuse to have some, so I don't know if that fits because we have to do a criteria for what's excused and what's not. And who excused <laughs> and who has to be excused. But anyway, that's all I'm asking. I didn't even notice I, that. That's I think that's a splendid suggestion. Sorry, what does he want to say? Can it just say it? Members yeah, present, present, members president, not, not present. present. That's all. Yeah. And Very then, simple. Then, nothing. You can just list them with a colon. Okay. Okay. That's so Syntax funny. error. Right. Any further, any other comments? Then hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Thank you. Uh, correspondence, I have none other than what I've already circulated. Thank you. Does anyone else have any? All right, let's move on to executive reports. Chief, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, commissioners. Welcome Hello. to the basement of the town hall <laughs> for our monthly meeting. Um, you have received copies of the updates on our fiscal 25. Any questions that anybody has? I'm not concerned with anything. Well, I didn't see anything. No, I think they are self explanatory. Right. Then um, we can go right to the off budget accounts. Yeah, nothing, uh... I just have a question. The law enforcement fund is still listed here as a zero balance. I thought that was getting closed up. It is. Would you like us to take it off? Sure. We're not going to fund it anymore. Correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. That's all I'm wondering. Yeah, okay. Come off. Yep. Okay. No problem. You had you guys had a, originally asked for things to like go back two years, so that's why it's still there. But I'm more than happy to take it off. And since there's not going to be any activity in it, <laughs> no, I'm totally great with that. That was more my concern is that it, there won't be anything going in. No. Driver safety fund. There's several items there at the very end with zero balances. It's group insurance, social security, workers comp, health insurance, and dental insurance. I don't really understand why those. Um, so that's clear for the end of the fiscal year or as the fiscal year goes by. So if there's any. Um, like DUI overtime grants or things like that, what benefits don't come out of. That's why you would see that instead. There you go. I have one quick question, and it's proceeds what we're just talking about. But medical priority consultants, what do you, what do you get from that? Or what is what do they supply? For? They are the dispatch interrogation software. So remember when the dispatchers okay. came and it was like the computerized questions that they asked, gotcha. and that algorithm to determine what resources get sent on a call that's the name of the business that we pay for the licensing and any training so new dispatchers would get trained in all the three disciplines thank you very much oh and this is a question that i think i may have asked in the past um if you go back to and this is on the not on off budget but on the budget of ones we've got workers comp mm -hmm. 
in a, it seems to me in a crazy kind of reporting situation. Uh, what's going on there and why does it have to be that way? Sure. So we wait for the town hall to take those funds out of our budget. And so it sits in our budget so that when, when all departments do their budgets for the town, it's transparent to know what, what fiscal liabilities each department has, as opposed to the town having one line item that said workers' compensation. So it breaks it down, but we do not pay that bill. The town pays the bill to the insurance carrier and they take the money out of our budget at some point in the fiscal year. It's, it's been in July before, it's been in June before and anywhere in between. So yeah. in the private sector, when you have workman's comp, at the end of the year, your, your policy, you have to do an audit and it's based on your salary Correct. and then it's based on your overtime. So that's why that number can always be a little different. Correct. Yep. And they do that at the end of the fiscal year. And then for budget purposes, Leanne gives me, our finance director gives me the number to put in there. So that's nothing that we calculate, nothing that we negotiate. It sits there until the town taketh um, and pays their bill. Okay. I just have a quick question. I think that we touched a little bit on this last meeting. Those seven thousand dollar deposits; those are reflected as state deposits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you in emergency dispatch? Yeah. yeah. So uh, for March and then June, heading down to September. Yes. Those are, would all be state. Okay. I just want to make sure I was understanding that clearly. Thank you. Any other question on either of the budgets, operating no. or mm -hmm. budget? Nope. <laughs> Okay, uh, personnel matters. Um, did the commission, was the commission advise about um, Mr. Hardy resigning? I know it sounded like he knew in an email. I was a little bit ahead of myself. Okay. I was confident. I was, I was, <laughs> that, that struck me odd. I'm like, because huh. yeah. he had not officially uh, resigned as of that point. Um, but as of last Friday, Mr. Hardy had uh, elected to resign from the department. It's, um, He's paid out some vacation time in accordance with the collective bargaining agreement, and we obviously wish him well. Um, Rachel O'Connell is back in the United States, which is so exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, she is safe and sound back home. She still has to do uh, some time on the base, and then she will return um, to active patrol duty with us probably the first week of December is when um, she'll eventually be released um, from her deployment, her official deployment, even though she's home. Uh, Patrolman Thomas has completed field training, so he is now on the road on his own as a personnel asset. Uh, Patrolman trainee Henry and Tufano are, are now in the field training program, so they're in about week two now. Um, Patrolman trainee Saab is still at the police academy. The New Britain Police Academy runs a little bit longer than the post academy. Okay. And then they decide to run a little bit longer and a little bit longer. So we're very eager for him to graduate. That should be very soon. Uh, patrolman trainees Fox and Rankin are in their third or fourth week of the uh, police academy. So I think they're, I think they're allowed to sit down now. Um, so they're, uh, they've gone through all the introductory type stuff and they're actually getting into some of the, the core curriculum. Um, we have two new full-time dispatchers that will be starting. Um, dispatcher Meloniski will be starting November 1st, and um, Dispatcher Sarasak will be just starting starting December 1st full-time. They both started out part-time. Uh, one was actually an intern from the University of New Haven and decided never to leave. She took a per diem job, got trained, and her full-time vacancy came open and said, I want that. Um, and Dispatcher Sarasak has been with us uh, from police explorer to community service officer, uh, to now part-time dispatcher and eventually full-time dispatcher um, in uh, December. So a lot of good positive yeah. personnel things going on. We have uh, someone who's interested in doing a lateral transfer. I'll be meeting with them in the next couple of weeks um, to see if they're a right fit for our agency. Um, all of the promotional processes are posted as promised. So um, we know who's applied for sergeant. We know who's applied for lieutenant. Um, and we spent some time in strategic planning, which I'll talk a, a little bit about a little bit about um, what our staff feels about those positions. So good things are going on. I'm very, very, very happy with that. Uh, we also posted two special assignment positions, one to fill the detective position to fill the staff, and one potentially for a traffic position, which has been vacant for a really long time. Uh, but as we come back to full staff, we're able to fill those positions again, um, which would be really great for the department and really great for the community. So very, very positive direction uh, with the staff right now. 
when you say traffic, um, tell us, could you? Yeah, so there's a, a special assignment uh, position in the collective bargaining agreement that allows me to assign someone um, either full-time or part-time. Everything's always really part-time in our department because patrol's the priority. Um, but that person would be responsible for solely doing traffic enforcement and perhaps the investigation of traffic accidents. But it would be, allow me to take a personnel asset and really target an area um, instead of having that officer be there for five minutes and then get sent to a call for service. This officer would really be dedicated uh, to that traffic function, which I think uh, commission, I think, would appreciate uh, based on our previous month's activity. So, again, once we're up to full staff, the reason why we've advertised for them now is I want to start that process. I want to start talking to people, you know, but we have, you know, three people that will be off of FTO in the next, you know, 10 weeks or so. Um, that'll be the time when we can start uh, backfilling positions. So very positive, positive personnel groups. Is Officer Hardy able to apply for jobs other places? There's nothing. He is. He just resigned. Okay. Yeah. Simply resigned. Before we have somebody assigned to traffic, I think maybe the police commission would like to think about that uh, as a not a police commission role. No. So in the contract that allows the chief of police to make that appointment. Um, and so, you know, if I find the right person, uh, I think I'll be doing it. So traffic enforcement would be like pulling people over and, you know, the speed. Yeah, so, you know, if we got a lot of complaints about the crosswalks right. on Main Street, I can assign someone strictly to Main Street and police those crosswalks. When we have neighborhood complaints of the speeding or running a trip, instead of asking the area car that's bouncing from call to call to call, and that citizen that's requested enhanced enforcement doesn't really get to see a result, I now have a resource to assign. Do you think that that specific officer would be eventually be like not targeted, but you know, known as oh, there's the, the traffic cop or no? Because I have the ability to assign and unassign and rotate the position. Mm -hmm. It's just it's taking a, a resource and saying instead of going to calls today, you'll be doing this dedicated yeah. function. Oh, so it's a multifunctional position of course. where they're going to always be yeah. circulated. Okay, all right. I'm kind of thinking that they're going to be assigned to that role. Well, they'd be assigned to that role, but they'll be multifaceted and they won't exclusively do that job. So a special assignment position allows me to assign someone to a five-day work week off of their four-day work week. So I get 17 extra personnel days out of somebody who's on a special assignment. And they would probably work half patrol and half that special assignment. Okay. What was it that you would be interested in weighing in on? On, on this in particular? My only concern was that I was envisioning this as somebody full time. Um, and I had thought that in a department our size, the flexibility of moving people around was highly desirable. And so detailing somebody for this one job struck me as not necessarily a good idea. So it's but, desirable amongst our staff because it's a change of pace, right? So it's a different type of position that you can apply for. Shows a healthy organization that we're able to have those different tasks or roles. But no one in a small organization, to your point, escapes the role of patrol officer, mm -hmm. right? So everyone, no matter who you are, no matter what your title is, performs patrol activities. That was what I was worried about. Yeah, no, no, no. Even our, even our detectives, when we assign detectives, detectives backfill patrol shifts. So no one is too good for patrol. Patrol is the backbone of our agency, right? Dispatch uh, is the link between those who need help and those who provide help, and patrol is the backbone of our agency. You might gain some like valuable information as to what parts let's say, would need the traffic the most and so forth with having one person assigned. You know, eventually they'll figure out, oh, we should be over here more, over here. Yeah, that won't be up to that person. They'll be oh. up to their supervisors. Oh, of course. Um, but it's a resource that we're able to deploy, right. which I think will be beneficial. You know, and that's a not a next week thing. We have to take these mm -hmm. folks up with field training. I'm just explaining where we're going. And, and so to me, it's a sign of health that we've rebuilt our ranks. You know, so think of us a year ago, right? We're talking about rebuilding, we're hiring. Now we've done all that. We're seeing the fruits of our labor. We're seeing people coming out of the academy. We're seeing shifts backfilled. Our ranks becoming healthy again. Um, so this is all very, very positive for the agency. Do we have a target date? 
that you're looking for? No, I, I need these gentlemen to be off, off of field training first. So okay. the process will go through. I'll speak with people. It requires writing an essay and coming up with a plan and, you know, how you think you could possibly impact traffic mm -hmm. safety in the community. This isn't just a you go stop cars. There's a lot more to it than that. Uh, and my edict has been, you know, I'm in my 16th year now as chief. Uh, my edict has never been, you know, give a ticket, give a summons. That's not what we do. It's about community education. So a verbal warning or a written warning is just as good. You see that reflected in your activity report. If I was a chief that said give only tickets, that's what you would see. Uh, but that is not the case. It's never, ever been the case. Okay. I like it. I think it's a good idea. All right. Professional development update. I think I kind of combined yeah. that in that. <laughs> so I think we can uh, help, healthily uh, move on there. And then you have your activity report. Uh, I mean, like any surprises. No, no. Actually, it looks like everything's down this. It's a little yeah, bit yeah, quieter. quieter. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. That's, that's a good thing. Yeah. Got people there. Come on, just take we like quiet. Um, and so on, you mind if I go on, Mr. Chairman? Please do. Great. Um, and so on October 21st, we had our annual department meeting and strategic planning session. Um, and I think it was a really, really good day. Just want to kind of go over it with you at a, a 50,000 foot uh, level. So our focus for the day. Connection. Our permission. Um, our focus for the day was leadership, agency culture, uh, employee needs, and our mission. Um, so we went over some of the, the standardized stuff. Uh, my favorite acronym for team together, everyone achieves more. Uh, my mantra there is that when we work as one agency, one family, uh, we're unstoppable for whatever uh, we want to we want to do to positively impact um, the town of Old Saybrook. Uh, we talked about my Big Mac theory, which I talked to you guys about uh, last year. Um, for those of you that don't remember, the theory is no matter where you go, this is a bad example now with the Listeria outbreak, but uh, wherever you go to order your Big Mac, your Big Mac comes out looking the same. And so my theory is no matter which personality you get as a dispatcher um, or a police officer, you should get the same type of service. No citizen should be like, oh, I wish officer so-and-so got my burglary. Every officer should be meeting a citizen's expectation and meeting our workplace standards. Um, and the bottom picture just shows that, you know, my job is to keep everyone kind of running at the same pace uh, and not being not being all over the place. Uh, one big change we made that uh, commissioners might find interesting is our titles forever. So when I came on 28 years ago, you know, our title was Um And right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven female police officers. Um, and so I have officially changed our title from patrolman to patrol officer. Uh, so that requires some change in our records management system and some business cards. Uh, but I think it is the most respectful uh, way to honor the fact that we are well above the national average of how many female police officers uh, an agency has. I'm very, very proud of that. Um, everyone does a, a, a fantastic job, man or woman. Uh, but I thought it was time to make sure that our title was uh, in concert with what our staff looks like. Um, and so we have a patrol sergeant is the next rank. And so we are all police officers, uh, but the rank of patrol officer, that will be the title of patrol officer. Um, so I we sent a our- welcome change. Yes, thank you very much. I think it's very, very healthy for the organization. Um, they did their uh, little scavenger hunt at the beginning of the day, some team building activities, uh, some interesting stuff uh, all around town. Uh, actually, one of the activities was their best impersonation of me. Uh, so that, those were some very interesting videos that got sent in uh, through the game, but I believe all the staff had fun. Um, and then we did an activity called Build a Supervisor. And so what I wanted to do and what I told our personnel is I wanted to hear from them on all the different attributes, knowledge, skills, abilities that they were looking for in future sergeants, future lieutenants, a future captain, and perhaps a future chief. And I explained to them that as they reported those things back and all their ideas were recorded, that at some point in executive session, when we're getting close to the promotions, I would share with the commission 
those things, that input from our staff that they're looking for in their future leaders, for you to have their voices in the back of your mind as you make decisions. Uh, so that was a, an exercise that while we had fun with, everyone took really, really seriously because they knew that their, their input was going to be presented to you, the decision makers on who would eventually be promoted into those various ranks. And then if you turn the page. Um, Before we leave this one. Sure. Uh, I don't understand the subscript at the bottom here, limit words, maximize logos. Yeah, so when you're doing uh, team building activities, what you try to do is you, you want the folks to be as creative as possible. And so you force them to use the creative side of their mind. So rather than writing a word, you ask them to depict that word in a picture or an icon. Uh, and that allows a better free flowing of information. And it actually allows the um, presenter to draw more out of the students in the classroom, so to speak. So it's a visual concept. It's a, it's a teaching technique. Yeah. yeah. They do it a lot. Um, it... We didn't do that in law school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys just kept drawing the scales of justice. And it, was, it was boring. Yeah, it's very common. Uh, for the next page, just an example of some of our different activities that we did during the day. Uh, as you know, as I've reported on this every single year that we've done it. Uh, so for you folks, you've, you've heard this report now three times. Um, so we go over how everyone's voice matters, and then we have uh, direct input activities uh, where they receive sheets and literally write down their ideas or their thoughts on the sheets. And then we do group activities where they work as a group. Each group's a microcosm of the police department. There's a supervisor, a senior patrol officer, a junior patrol officer, a member of the dispatch staff, and a member of the civilian staff. Um, and that yields lots of results. And so what I did for you throughout this entire packet, um, all the, then we wrote down everyone's input. Uh, so the first exercise was their burning question for me. Uh, and that was introduced as <laughs> ask any type of question you want of me personally or professionally, and I will answer it before you leave the day. Um, then the second one was what is your number one issue with the agency? Good, bad, or different. Just write it down. I have a question. Yeah. Is this something that they're writing down and handing to you, or this is a verbal exchange? So this is writing down and handing it to me. Okay. Yeah. This is the per the per website thing. This you, is this. So right? last year's was on the per. This website. it's all come, like it's yeah. very familiar. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So this is they write down something and then you read it. I do not read it. So it gets oh. collected in group form with no names on it, and I read it at the end of the day. Okay. Except yeah. these two, I read on their first break so I can address it because these are my promise that I will address before they leave the room for the day. And then the other categories, um, the input exercise number one, if you were chief for a day, what would you change and why? See how the response is. Something for you to take hold and read. Direct input exercise number two, if you were chief for a day, what would you start? Oh, so these are their actual answers. Those are their answers. Oh, okay. Yep. okay. Yep. Direct input exercise three, what is something that we do as an agency that you really don't understand why we do it? And so this allows me to communicate. Maybe someone's doing something every day and they just don't know why we're doing it. So I get to answer the why. Uh, direct input exercise number four. What is one thing that you wish you had to make your job safer, better, and better to deliver services to make your job easier? Direct input exercise five is how can I support you better? How can I help? Uh, number six is what would you like to say to me? Where they just write a confidential message to me about whatever they want. And exercise number seven, tell me about today. That's kind of their own personal recap on everything that we got to do for this today. And then their group exercises, uh, various topics, everything from equipment to our fleet, to the building, to officer wellness. Um, everyone has, has, and then we have three presentations, four presentations during the day. Uh, one was from the state's attorney came down to address the department, which is very nice of him. Uh, we had an AFLAC representative come and talk about extra insurance, disability insurance. We had the employee assistance program, the public safety employee assistance program, come down and make a presentation so all of our employees would understand the resources that they have available. Uh, and then we had our 401k uh, planning person come down and speak about retirement, how to prepare for that, and how that's better for the for the long haul. So uh, really good day, really positive day. Very, very proud of the personnel. 
Um, you know, no one sat their arms crossed. Everyone really got involved and got engaged. And again, another sign that I think that the agency is really helping. So uh, proud to report that to you. We took the police commissioner question off. The other. Yeah, we didn't do that this year. Change the format up a little bit yeah. um, because I, I think it's healthy. I think it's healthy to, to change the way we did. And again, our focus was leadership, agency culture, your needs, and our mission. And so I think in a very political year, we took politics out of it. Just focused on what we do and how we serve the community. So you did this last year as well? I've done it every single year. I've been oh, year. okay. So have you done like a cross comparison to see their responses mm -hmm. and how obviously- I would say the last two years have been over positive. Well? Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. And what's interesting is when you have um, an employee who is clearly not a fit for the agency, they stick out like a sore thumb in these types of uh, environments. And there was none of that this year. Absolutely none. So I'm really happy about it. Considering especially that they are, I'm not going to say really overworked, but you know, with the short of shortness of staff, absolutely, it is good. Very good. I'm very, very proud of where our team is right now and where we're going. This will be interesting reading. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all just raw there. You know. Now, do we read this and circle back next month? We can. You yeah. can. I want to ask you a question, but again, I don't know who wrote these things. Oh no, I'm just yeah. saying, like, if we read through these and just had some questions for you to clarify, perhaps what the meeting could be, or Maybe I can clarify them. Yeah, I just think it would be. I don't think it could just be a comment. Yeah, I I don't really understand. But why did you? I mean, what would you like to ask a police commissioner or whatever the question? I thought that was a really. The question was, what would you like to say? But I took out that the first selectman myself. I just different format this year. Okay, it was healthy to change. Okay. Yeah, I think it's always good to to. Otherwise, it's the same old, same old. Right. You know, and, and we, have a lot we, of need it, we need to change. What's that? We have a lot of new people. We have a lot of new people who probably don't even know who you are. I know. Right? And so that, so the focus needed to be on them. It's a younger agency. Yeah. And so I believe that, first of all, let's pause for a second. Call around. No one else is doing this with their police department. Oh, no, right? this is amazing. So yeah. we're, we're happy that we're doing that. And I believe that I <laughs> think that the testimony uh, the other day was very, very relevant. You know, one thing that would be good to have, you know, you did the 401k, but it's always good to have somebody come in and speak about their benefits because you'd be surprised how many people don't know anything about their benefits that they have. Just a suggestion. You know. So last year we had someone from um, the healthcare company. It, it wasn't um, the best presentation. Yeah, it's got to be somebody that knows their benefits. Like you have one officer that just, concentrates on their benefits that, you know, he's the person that would know what, what the benefits are? No, absolutely not. Well, they go through the whole contract process and they find out what the benefits are. When they get hired, they should know what yeah, the benefits there, are. There's, there's no, like, benefit coordinator amongst the rank and file. Who do they go to if they have a question? Like the 800 number? Or someone at Town Hall, or they oh, call the insurance company. company. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The broker is very responsive when there's questions. Oh, that's nice. At least they have some type of a resource. Okay. And that's all I have for you. Where are we at, um, lieutenants? Like, is that posted or when is that happening? Yeah. Um, so I'm sorry. Maybe you didn't hear me before. So everything's posted. Okay. Um, we're hoping to test in either December or January. Remember last time we spoke about Chubb's going to, uh, he didn't know it at the time, but I announced that he's proctoring the exam. Uh, so I won't be in the room. No, I remember that part. Yeah, so the written, so, so everything's in. The closing dates have ended. Um, so whoever is applied is applied. Um, they'll have, they have, the sergeants have their reading list. The lieutenants get their reading list this week. And then um, the tests happen. Are you able to tell us maybe in executive session who is applying? Yeah, those people will naturally come to you. Um, okay. But last month, I believe we did speak about that. The other thing that Carl signed off on the uh, on the raise. Remember, you were going to get a hold of him, but that's the only that's the only way. Yeah, that's the only way um, we could post. But did he did he agree to the yes the eight thousand okay. Okay. Yeah, because right. yeah, I I remember that that was part yeah, of the discussion. Yeah, yeah, that's the only way I could have posted. Perfect. Okay. 
Do you feel like some of the people that have expressed interest will continue with it? Or do you feel like some may or may not? I don't think that's a good, I would agree with that. No, okay. <laughs> that's well, that's why I'm asking you in executive session if like. I no. think what we have to do is we have to let the testing process be so sterile sad. for our okay. uh, folks. And then when it comes time for me to provide hopefully welcome input to the commissioners, that's, I think that's- Oh, no, 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 that's not what I meant. I just meant like, based on when you just said that you feel confident in the people that have applied, you feel like they're going to continue with it. They're not gonna drop out. I think that's what I mean. I would have no idea. I mean, my hope would be if you that they would. for a position that you want- We're gonna follow through on it. Yeah. Okay. Right. I didn't know sometimes testing, people can get a little- It's happened before. About, about, Without a doubt, yeah. it's happened before. So that's where I was going. I would have no Nothing idea. Nothing about scores. I wouldn't or, make up predictions. Yeah. I would hope that everyone would- continue. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping is. Any other questions? I have one question. I know last meeting we spoke about a calendar. Mm -hmm. um, can you kind of give us an update yeah, on? I'm still really confused on, on what you want with that. I mean, as your police chief, I am not the community calendar. Um, there's lots of other places to, to look for that information. I can point you in, in the right direction, but I, I'm still confused on what you're looking for, Jackie. I, I, just don't, um, I don't know if it's something that there's a question on what to look for. It's more like informational purposes like oh on this day like if someone just randomly came up to us and said oh i know that the police department does the turkey drive since we're at that season we'll use that as an example it would be like oh yeah we discussed that in our october meeting it's going to be on november you know it's so just never not told the commission about any of our fundraising because we hope that you participate in it okay I, I do sort of see jackie's point in the sense because you guys don't really use the social media platforms too which is You'll see that reflected in the strategic plan right i mean even with the shorts for um the school mm -hmm. the playground i didn't see it anywhere in town and um that's because we didn't do any public event yeah okay i mean but, yeah so that's why right so there was no public fundraising for that, that was but i also internal. i also think we we just want to know stuff that's going on and I think to your point that's what this is all about to have a little bit more communication with us in terms of saying these are the good things that are happening here and and this is you know just heads up we're doing this on this particular day mm -hmm. but I think I cover that in meetings you do you do so I don't understand what a calendar maybe the calendar is. that word isn't the right. most appropriate okay. word to assign to the request i right. think it's more of hey can you give us an idea of what's going to happen in november and december kind of thing well we sort of did that where he went over so, like so five right, events. Right. in a sense though in february we, we do the diapers yeah because yeah. i coordinate that with valentine's day right that's what we do. so the date for if someone saw us and said, hey, you know, the stop and shop event for the turkey drive is- It's always the weekend before Thanksgiving. Okay, so that's something that's that- we collect the food for Thanksgiving. So okay. we collect it and we give it out. All right, well, that's week. good to know. And then uh -huh. our toy drive is done in concert with Youth and Family Services. And that's, I mean, both of those things are very well advertised. If you get a pizza anywhere in Old Saybrook or Chinese- Yeah, media, there's things. Our flyers there. I mean, so, so when you ask me the things, I say, Golly, you is not only do we let you know, we let everyone in the community know because people that's still ask us. Was, <laughs> well, I've been asked. It's on the electronic say. signboards. I mean, we, it's in the no. church bulletins. And I mean, we, it, I think we do a real good and job. They're, 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 they're not but, dated things. Like they're not like only three day events. Like it's a month right. long toy drive. I people come to my work and ask me when the transfer station is open or what days the library is open. Yeah. So I understand Jackie's point. People don't always read or look out, look for anything. Right. Believe me, I have to be like. The selectmen of the town at work. Everyone needs to know if there's a siren going off. What's going on? I don't know. I'm at work. Like, no, I understand what Jackie's saying. They call me too. The same. But there was a time oh, like when the, when the turkey drive was two weekends. So it's yeah, only no, one, no, no more. Just the no, one weekend. And last, I can stop. but last time when Jackie asked if we were going to be involved in the turkey drive, you said no. Correct, because that's okay. a department function. It's not a commission Well, I, I meant like we could just attend and say hello, that kind of We'd thing. We'd love for you to drop off a turkey. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's, that's a, the sure diapers. Sure. Remember one year we took a picture with the entire commission. My wife decides yes. she's going to buy. I mean, that, that's that's I, what you want to do. I think, I think, you know, you're looking at it from someone who's been in the role for 16 years. You could, you, you know this stuff in your sleep. 
the commission comes and goes. There's different membership here. And what you know for 16 years, we're, we're not going to know. So just a, a friendly reminder. A heads maybe up. Maybe that. Yeah, yeah. Heads up or reminder. You got it. Yeah. Weekend before Thanksgiving, because that's the next one coming. I will spread the word because Give I have been asked. Give the Stop and shop. I and, have then the, and then the toy drive is... Ten, toy drive starts right after that. So as soon yeah. as we hit yeah. that oh. big shopping day right after uh, yeah. Thanksgiving, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, there's a big box at Walmart. Sometimes yeah. it's staff, sometimes it's not. There's no schedule to that. That's whenever I can get people that want to give yeah. some time to do that. Um, so toy and, drive. You know, people drop toys December. off at the department. The most common thing actually with diapers and toys is their drop shipping stuff. So we get Amazon deliveries like crazy for people who are just sending their donations right to the department. Oh, that's good to know. I yeah, didn't and in know fact, that. for the diaper drive, we literally advertise with QR codes that takes people right to the page on whatever favorite shopping place they have, Walmart, Target, and Amazon. Is what I did this past year. They scan the QR code, Bamo Bamo goes there, they ship it right to us. Do you think you could send us the flyer because you guys don't promote on social media? And then, or no, I wouldn't mind sharing so that do. flyer. That, that's incorrect. We do promote on social media. Mm -hmm. We just don't have our own presence because of that, yeah, that guy. gentleman that decides to hijack our yeah. page. But you'll find if you go to any of the mm -hmm. town of Old Saybrook stuff, and in fact, Renee, I always send the, the Democrat, the, the DTC page. I send it to Renee's own page. I send it to the RTC page. Yeah, I don't Any of the, you want to live in Old Saver, you have to live share, in Old I Saver, share whatever. stuff all the you time. share stuff all the time, right. And so that's how we use social media. Yeah. A lot of our daycares for the diapers, they all get the flyer and they send it out mm -hmm. to their folks. The school district, if you're a parent in the, the district, you get every one of our flyers about everything all the time. Um, so there's a lot yeah. of the pizza boxes, the Chinese takeout, the electronic signboards that Larry does for me. There's a whole lot of stuff. Town website always uh, posts all that stuff. So it, it's certainly out there. Right, right. right. Okay. okay. But I will send you the turkey one. So. Thank you. You're I'll make copies. <laughs> Just go. Uh, so right. Typing into your websites or your Facebook, Police Department, Old Saybrook, and then all of a sudden you'll see all of the flyers. I'm not a big into social media. No, but so. you know people, they do. They yeah. want the piece of paper. Yeah, right? they Believe like me. my neighborhood. They love handouts, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking down the street. Oh, what's happening? I haven't heard anything. What's going on? I'm like, okay, here you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've reached comments from the public. And mm -hmm. okay. uh, in our virtual audience, if anyone would like to comment, please raise your hand. None. Nope. Okay. Comments from the chief of police. Just really quickly, want to praise my staff. Um, they're doing a phenomenal job. Some of them are handling some pretty sensitive investigations right now, um, and they're doing a very, very good job. Their dedication level is incredible. Uh, the morale is up, and just uh, really happy with the product that we're we're producing. I think we're on a, a very, very good path right now, and I'm very proud of that. Comments from commissioners? I have I have two things. Um, just piggybacking on that, um, just wanted to say today was National First Responders Day. And um, just a big thank you to all the men and women in the department um, who risk their lives every day for the community. I thought that was just really appropriate. Thank you. We got some cookies and cards today too. Oh, some glad. folks in town. So oh, good. That's nice. That's great. Yes. And the second thing I just wanted to bring up was the ARPA committee met based on um, the conversation that we had last time. And they are they rescinded the um, the funding for the crosswalks in there. But tomorrow night it's going on the agenda for the Board of Finance. And that at that meeting, they will discuss and move it to having the money come out of some other place. Um, they were looking at the paving budget for that. Yeah. Um, and so hopefully, they're going to include the other two, which I don't know is the plan yet. Um, but I did send Carl a, a communication based on our conversation at the meeting that the commission was very interested in all five crosswalks getting done instead of three. Um, so again, that was pulled off because it didn't meet that the definition or the criteria right. or whatever. 
Um, and so I, I don't know if they're just asking for funding for the three or based on the communication I sent the first selectman for asking for five. I don't know, you know yeah. Chubb, if you want me to drop them a note and say, hey, we know it's on board finance. A little reminder. reminder. Sure, yeah. I can do that. The thing is, they're funding 500000 which probably is just the three. It's a drop in the yeah. bucket, I think, for, for this. So, From what I gathered with the ARPA funds, they can move stuff around as the deadlines for certain projects come up. So they may be moving the ARPA funds from the sidewalks now, but they're going to grab it from somewhere else. That's what later. Is, yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, but I just remember our conversation last time. None of us really had any idea what that meant. <laughs> so glad they had the meeting after. Yeah. And I did thank the engineer after last meeting. I thought that presentation he was, was, was really so good. good. He was very, very helpful for you guys. Any other commissioner comments? Yeah, I just want to say keep up the good work. I had a couple of uh, people contact me that were uh, had interacted with some of our, uh, our uh, patrol officers. And um, anyway, they were all positive contacts. Oh, that's nice. One needed to get a registration redone. You know what I mean? There was just, but they came and commented to me. So it was, mm -hmm. it was all positive. I know they oh, sorry, go ahead. They did a great job with the uh, active Oh, yeah, they did. They were very, yeah, very Detective good. Sergeant Williams was put in charge of uh, staffing the event and running the event. Did a really good job. Everyone was there, everyone came. It's funny because some of our newer uh, patrol officers are like, wow, it's a long day. You don't, don't even remember. You were in shorts in September. Back in the day, it was always what? The dead July. heat of July, full polyester uh, uniform. So um, it, it's funny how, you know, times change and things cycle. Yeah, they, they, did, they did an excellent job. Did they stop at your booth, Renee? For yeah, yes, yes. They flooded her booth from what I understood. <laughs> <laughs> or there was lots of good conversation all day long. For their cameras are recording. <laughs> well, informal interaction. <laughs> Believe right. me, everyone knows I'll say whatever I'm going to say. So, <laughs> I don't care if it's recorded or not. <laughs> um, oh, so ahead. I have one thing. Um, so the, thank you for the communications, even with the um, with the school incidents the past few weeks. I I see there's a really good connection between the superintendent and the OSPD. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that he recognizes that. I would still love, I know it's common set at the time, but love to have that meeting with the, you yeah. know, with the Board of Ed and so forth. So I don't know. I think maybe that could be a nice springtime. I think he as a new superintendent is still trying to feel out no, his course. board. So yeah. I don't want to like monopolize a, a meeting on him, but I, I think maybe, yeah. maybe towards the end of the school year, we can, we can do that. Yeah. Have everyone wants in one place. I think that's healthy. From what I gather from, he visited a PTA meeting. He's very much, he's awesome, but if you get it in his ear now, and then eventually he'll recognize it. It's... I think he's a breath of fresh air. Oh, yeah. I love. Him. He's so funny. He's so funny. Very, very good to work. Mm -hmm. Strong. Work. Yeah. Can I just ask, are we still on target for the 31st for the curb study? Because I've been getting phone calls, and I was told on Friday that it was out. Yeah. <laughs> I was asked that stuff. Is just oh, I just want to make sure that. <laughs> I, I emailed everybody yeah. that yeah. it's that November an 15th. An right, but will the draft be by the deadline that they were given? It's I, my understanding of the reason behind the shift was because of the delay in getting the draft out. So the draft would be the 15th and then. No, no, the weeks. draft would okay. be two weeks before that. Okay. Well, no, just because I was surprised when somebody said it's out and I said, well, that's news to me. So. But, that, but the timing doesn't make sense. So if we have, if you guys have two weeks to look at the draft and okay. then send it back, how does that, and it's due I November 15th. At the draft. I don't even know if that's been decided. That been decided. It's the superintendent, uh, superintendents, the selectmen, you, and then the police commission. Not the whole police commission. Yeah, that's what I was told. Yeah. Oh, okay. How but, do we know that? But the timing, sorry, if I, you look, oh, if you look yeah. at the contract, the timing of the draft, this is no November fifteenth thing. Just doesn't make any sense. Like, what are they going to do? Revise any? And then they're supposed mm -hmm. to present it in person too. I don't know. Something's. I think the contract is a little funny about that because obviously they're going to have a public presentation to the town after the final report. So that'll be later than November 15th. Right. Uh, but the timeline for having the draft, having questions or comments or proposed corrections, suggestions, that is the two week window. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
So if we get it on November 1st, then by two weeks, it's like November 15th. Right. Right. And it's done. The, the contract's up. Though. Police commission is meeting with these these folks. They're going to understand you. No, they're <laughs> under their contract. They're they're meeting with the town, and that would be a public meeting. Anybody can come. Okay. Not for the draft, though. Not for the draft. Yeah. No. But I think I think I'm kind of understanding your point because one of the things I was confused about when Wait, I saw no. your email because I had no idea there was any type of extension is if there's a two week period for the draft. And then the final report is due. Exactly. When are they exactly taking into account anything we say during that? The draft. Well, that's why your comments have to have better come early. <laughs> well, but they don't. They don't give right. you enough time. Like, <laughs> we we have we have two. Without weeks. seeing it, you have no idea. Right. Right. <laughs> right. But we they have to give us the two full weeks, and if we email it back to them on November fourteenth, November fifteenth, the contract is up. We have to have the final. That's why if you have any anybody who has something they want to say about it. But we don't even have it yet. Do we have it? No. So <laughs> I'm not taking a red pen and correcting it. They were hired to do this job. No, I yeah, was not. So exactly. It's I don't I, I told Chubb before I don't understand the yeah. draft because this is the report as they see it. That would yeah. be like I if, thought the report just comes out. No, yeah. there's a draft that's gonna come out. Yeah, and there's plenty of time. They they should have had this like so is the committee, really? Chubb, do you, I don't want to get a chance, yeah. is like the commission meeting like in an executive session to review the draft and provide no. comments, each no. commissioner is getting their own draft? No. Like, no. No. No, I've talked about this with Carl and with Perf. Um, and the thought is that the whole point of having a draft is that confidential changes can be suggested and incorporated in the final. If it is broadly distributed, it'll be leaked all, all over the place is the concern. And then the whole purpose of having the draft is compromised. So who sees the draft? If you know, if you don't know, I respect that. The three people that I know are you, Carl, and me. So how would we so, get our suggestions in well, within? We won't. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, well, we're cut out of the loop, even though we're all equal. We're and we decided. We don't get to. Well, we episode. agreed that we would all see the draft. We would all go over it. I, I don't remember that yeah, agreement. I don't remember that. At all. I don't think that could have been our decision, right? That was the contract. It was the contract. It was right. the contract with the, with the, with the first election. None of us have had, not even the chief. Or oh, the, the chief, the, the department under the contract, the department gets it. And to me, that means the chief. Well, can I disseminate it to department members for feedback? See, yeah. Uh, that could be that compromising that would, issue. I think if you are confident that they will keep it among themselves, I suppose. I don't and know. I, think you, and I would suggest that you, Chubb, and Carl sit down and come up with a ground rule of what you're going to do so that everybody does the same thing. You don't distribute it. He doesn't distribute it and Carl doesn't distribute it unless you guys decide who sees what and what. And that's the proper way to do it when you've got to. Well, it's not very transparent. And they should that should have been done before the contract was signed. Because even Matt the Gleese. But who, it, well, I'm happy to involve the chief in a meeting with Carl. When, do you know, when was the last time you chatted with Perf like about the draft? Probably a week ago, I said, where is it? <laughs> and is that what prompted the extension then, Robert? Yeah. yeah. And what they just said, we're, we're just not done? Right. I don't know. So I, you know, I said, we're, we can't crowd our two week period. Yeah. I think, so to be honest, I did think that the, the commission as a whole is going to see the draft. Yes. I mean, I'm really honest about that. Because I also don't trust that you won't share it to certain members and not everybody. And I know that we sat here and we agreed that we would all see the see the draft and go over it. Mm -hmm. I remember this very clearly. I thought that they just and not the police will back that up. Submit a report. That's I how don't I, remember I'm with that. A draft. I'm, even the draft being the final report because I don't to remember. me that is what they're saying. That is their finding. Right. I, I Why would a draft be something that we would be 
enabling changes to consider within that window of time when because this is a printed national report that anybody can look up eventually. Right, so I think it's the report. Go, it's what the, report. Oh, the, the final report will be a public document, very much so. But I, mean, I don't the, feel like I'm capable of saying this should be changed or that should be changed. Yeah, I don't I'm have not all educated the enough to, to make those decisions. That should have, it doesn't open us up to any liability. It could impact someone's life. Right. Yeah. I don't think that's nice. I agree. I think that I think but there, there might be things that are that maybe they observed that everyone around the table knows not to be true. For example, part of my interview was uh, the, the interviewee said to me that we've spoken to all the police commissioners and they all do not believe that there's a way to investigate you or discipline you. I'm like, wow, we spent almost a year on that. <laughs> we have like a whole way on how that would work. And so you all know that. And so if that was in the report, I would think that this body would be like, no, you can't write that. That's not true. Here's the document that we agreed to in our meeting. <laughs> so I, I don't remember that. The last question. meeting, Chuck, I don't that, remember. I don't remember that question with her either. Well, I had it. Uh, no, I, I did not discuss Sante? that. <laughs> yeah, I, well, they I'm never saying, asked. That's what that. they said to me. No, I wouldn't even know that because I wasn't here for that. So yeah. yeah, Chubb, at the last meeting, you had mentioned that we were going to hire a lawyer. Yes. Did we hire a lawyer? Yes. We're all set then. We're good to go. What lawyer? John Bertram. When was that discussed? Yeah, what? The town has hired him. For what? Advice. On what? what? Legal advice. So about what? I think that's confidential right now. What is going on? Confidential so, to me too. The, the town yeah. hired John Bertram for what reason? For the police yes. division? For for the town. To do what? Ask Carl. Why would you know though, and not him or the rest of us about like this? And what the reasoning is. This is why I don't trust. Yeah, I'm confused. Is this so about a lot of trust to have. He was told not to say nothing by the by the selection. But he told you? He didn't tell me. He said in the meeting that they were going to hire a lawyer. Last meeting, he said he not in this meeting. No, he did not. Yeah, he most wrong said, meeting. No. Yeah, yeah, it was that other meeting. It was yeah. It was no, no, there was, to. no, there was no other meeting. No, is no, it, right. is this right. about me? So like <laughs> it's about the town. I know, but I'm, I'm, I would love an answer to my question. Is this about me? Chief, all I'm telling, all I'm saying is it is about the town. So was there already a draft for the PERF interview? No. And nobody in, okay. So the town hired an attorney. For the police commission? For no, the, for, police commission. Well, for the town. Oh, okay. For the town, yeah. Yes, but not for us, because we would well, have to know why we would be. We are part of the town, so. But you would have to let us know if we have a lawyer representing us for something. I think I think it's if there's a need. There was right? No, right. Yeah. We would never well, know this need? until there was a need. So then you know that. So there's a need. So we So know. he's hired on a contingent basis if we need him. He is available on a contingent basis if we need him. Oh okay. The thing of it is this happened with John Burtson Burcham months ago, I thought. Yeah. I After we used him this. for the Bible. Me either. I, I mean, I've, like I've been told by people that we need yeah. a lawyer. I've been told by people the police commission better be ready. People in town, so I'll take whatever so, I have coming. <laughs> are there any other comments from by commissioners? So, would you mind giving me a better explanation on that at some point? That, that just doesn't. I will not, be happy to. Talk it's with not you. sitting. I, I will well. be happy to talk with you about that. Okay. But is it something that all the commissioners should know? Or just Chief? the ones who choose to know. Okay. <laughs> if there are no other if there are no other commissioner comments, I, we need to move I invite a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any 